of a curve-wise electronics with the maximum and minimum. And we only know that this is a curve-wise electronics and this is not a maximum. The reason is we have the above many values we have and below many values we have. This is also not a maximum or minimum because below that we have many values and above also we have many values. So we know by look itself we know that this point is the maximum point and this point is the minimum point. So if we have a graph, if we have a curve, we can easily find out where is the maximum and minimum. Now we are trying to, or if uh, if you have an equation, is it possible to find the maximum and minimum? Or how many ways we have to find the maximum and minimum? We all know if we have an equation, if you are drawing in a curve, we can easily find out where is the maximum and minimum. By looking the graph, the maximum here is not a maximum set, this is not a maximum set, this is a maximum and this is a minimum. So by after drawing a graph, we can easily find out where is the maximum and the minimum. So now we are, is there any other ways of finding maximum or minimum? Yes, we have. Now we only use the derivative. Divide by dx is to find the slope to tangent to the curve y is equal to f of x. So with the help of derivative, we are trying to find where is the maximum and the minimum. Divide by dx is found the meaning of slope of a tangent. So here in this curve, we have many points and each and every point, we are able to draw a tangent and we are able to find the slope of the tangents. Now we are trying to at this particular point, I have do I kept one tangent. This is a tangent, and these two are parallel lines. These two are parallel lines. So we can find the slope by measuring the angle, the inclination of the angle between the curve and the tangent. Here, I am starting from the left side of the part till the last. For increasing order, I am keeping the x points. First, I am starting from this point. The tangent is here. And the angle we are getting is nearly is nearly 50 degree. So again I am increasing the x-axis, I am moving to right side. So here I am moving, increasing. Now I have to measure the angle. I can measure the angle this side or this side because both are the beads. So we need to measure the inclined angle of the curve with the base. So here the line is not clear, so I am measuring this part, the inclined angle. The curve with the tangent. I kept here, I got it. So it is more than 120, the angle increase, this angle increase, or this angle, sorry. This is a curve, sorry, this is a curve, and the curve. It's 20 degree only, it's reduced. This is a curve with the tangent. Inclined angle is de decreased now. Before it was 20 to 30 to 40, now it's decreased 20. Again, I am increasing the x axis going back moving to right. Now, what will be happening with the tangents? Here, the tangent is very really less now. Here, only 10 or 15 degree only now. So now the increase is in decreasing order and I get here with the parallel to the base. Now here the slope is nothing, I mean slope is zero. So here the, it is in decreasing order, the slope it was in decreasing order at a particular point the slope is parallel to the x-axis or parallel to the base that means there is no slope at a particular point. Next again I am moving to the right, to the right, what will be happening to the tangents? So here we have already said we have to measure the angle in between the, the tangent and the curve here now. Four minute down, no, sir.
is 40 degree now again I am moving to right the angle increase now the angle is increasing the angle is increasing now it is around around 70 degree now so increase now it, before it was decreasing order at a particular point it was zero and again increasing order so this first was decreasing then slope zero then increasing order 